What about, um, Linda, your experience of being a radical or, or as was then a re revolutionary feminist in the 70s and 80s, what were the best bits and worst bits for you? Oh, the worst bit, I must say, was uh, losing, uh, losing custody of my children. Um, anyway, I, I, I didn't get custody back, but I, you know, my children came to live with me later, so that's, that's part of that one. The best bits were an understanding, being, using my, 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 my Marxist analysis to look at that thing called gender, the power that men had over women, having the, the, the role of men's violence against women as the means by which they, they kept us in check. I think having a, you know, you applying my Marxist analysis to the relationship between men and women was absolutely vital. I can't imagine, and I can't think of, an, nobody has pre uh, presented to me or, you know, I've not read of any other explanation to the worldwide phenomena of men's violence against women. And feminism is <laughs> the only place that I have seen such an analysis and what Sheila's book and, and, and revolutionary feminism did was to put us in, into the agency, uh, uh, owning our own agency to do something about it, not merely to, to complain about it, or we weren't just in, 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 in groups um, being supportive of each other, we were doing something about men's violence against women. And that remains with me. I, and I must say that I, I left, and, and it, well, the women's liberation movement was consumed in the, in, in the late uh, 90s and, and thereafter by sadomasochism and more. It got worse and worse and worse. And thankfully, we're now beginning to re- embrace our feminism um, and that's absolutely bloody wonderful.